If you was pushed out of the area because of loss of work in the coal industry, look no longer. Jim Mar is here for you. Jim Mar is now hiring for all positions in the coal field. Stop by their offices in Logan, West Virginia or in Willing, West Virginia and apply today. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come.
The Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance wants to inform the general public that Little Flower Clinic is a full-service medical clinic available for everyone. We accept most major insurances like the one your employer provides and Medicaid. Little Flower has an experienced staff of medical professionals providing all types of services from general physicians, mental health services, dental, chronic disease case management, and even chiropractic. We have on-site x-ray and laboratory services. Little Flower Clinic, everyone's medical home is the mountains. Kentucky Farm Bureau agents wear a lot of hats. There are coaches, volunteers, church members, neighbors, someone who's there when you need them, especially when you need them most. That may be a lot of hats, but they're all the And we are back here, guys. We we do apologize, guys. It's uh, if you only knew the quarters we are in here, tight quarters, and we are trying to. There, but that's Horton. Horton still drugged down across the forty. It, it might have been the same play call that got him the TD earlier. Certainly looked like it. Lincoln County doing a nice job marching down the field. Yeah, guys, if, you take and, uh, if you're taking, if you tuning in, please hit that like and share button. Let folks know we are live on YouTube. We are having major technical issues up here. Don't know what the issue is, but we are live on YouTube, and uh, hopefully you guys hit that share button and get the word out for the folks here in Perry County. Sawyer Horton again setting up in that shotgun. Yeah. I, just, I mean... Horton again, Daryl. I mean, he got a nice arm on him. He does, and uh, yeah, I mean, he looks a lot like Kaiser Sloan. That uh, I called him Kaiser Sloan there. I see that red and white, and their build I, is a lot of lock. It, it, so. it is. Uh, got a quick release. Got an arm on him. This Lincoln County team. Uh, I didn't know what to expect, but certainly much better than anticipated, at least on my end. Yeah, they're definitely a lot better than most people would have thought. You know, I mean, it, coming up here, I thought Perry Central would be routing them by this point. And uh, this Lee County team, though, looking very good right now early on. Put a man in motion. Horton, he's going to keep it. He bulls his way forward for a gain of about two on the play. There we oh, go. here we go. We, we've got a – almost, Daryl. Yeah. Almost broke loose here. That's that's what you get in, in playoff football action. It is intensity. It is passion. And uh, I'm just, again, really impressed with this Lincoln listen, County football hey, team. Listen, Perry County, there's no backing down. No, not at all. No backing down from this group. Big fans of these boys here at Perry County. Is, looks like, uh, I don't know, they're taking them to the sideline, but there's not a timeout. So let's yeah. see what the – flags are here as they try to figure this out. Gonna clear, yeah. Gonna iron this thing out. Find out exactly penalty for penalty. 41 has to come out of the... So they're gonna say a necessary roughness on both teams offset penalties and we will keep the ball here at the 31 yard line. And, and do you do you agree with that? Is that something? Is that the way you would go? Well, I, I honestly, I mean, I, I seen as it's normally the second act that you catch, and uh, so you know, I mean, the second act looks like the the Perry County kid didn't do anything, but you know, I'm sure there's something that right. happened that caused the issue. Here we go. Perry County Central on the move. 
penalties were uh, offset. Uh, Lincoln County on yes. the move. Yeah, yeah, excuse me. Lincoln County on the move here. Yep. Horton. Yeah. Hands it off. Lane. Yeah. He stays forward there for a couple yards. And Lincoln County kid, that right there, you know, there's the official. That was right in front of yeah. the official. Yeah. A little surprise there. Lincoln County just keeps making positive gains, positive yards, though. There he goes, first yeah, he, down. Yeah, it looks like he got there. It should have been. Bulldozed his way through. It's going to depend on the spot here, but it looks like to me he got it. Yes, they did. 7-7. Seven, seven. We're all tied up here at Perry County Central High School. Now, I know these are 15th region officials. Okay. See what Lincoln County draws up here. Staying in that shotgun. They like that shotgun, Daryl. They do. As you see, Horton put the man in motion here. Horton. Oh. Fires great defense there. Yeah, anticipated that well. Looks like his jersey's rode up. I can't see. That was number nine on the play, Noah, Nolan Wooten. Yes, sir, Nolan Wooten. Senior. Making a big time play, anticipating uh, well. Listen, all season long, that young man, uh, right at the clutch moment, right at big time uh, moments, he has come up with big time plays. Nolan Wooten is a PTPer. Second down and two. Fires it out in the flat. And gets a gain of maybe one on the play. The receiver, the knee the, was on the ground. End of the first quarter, Daryl. And end of the first quarter, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more action live here from Hazard, Kentucky. You're watching Perry Central versus Lincoln County on the D&D Sports Network. It's our 60th anniversary sale at Kimber's. Since 1963, it's been our family serving your family, and we want to celebrate with you with some of the best offers in our history. Kimber has up to 60% off store-wide, up to 60 months interest-free. With your minimum purchase, free delivery up to 60 miles, and with any mattress purchase, your foundation is only $60. The 60th anniversary sale, only at your favorite Kimber store. Hi, everybody. Dave Baker here for Citizens Bank of Kentucky. Do you want to love your car even more? How about putting extra cash in your pocket each month by refinancing with new low rates at CBK? It is fast, it's easy, all you have to do is log on to wearecitizens.bank. We are back here in Hazard, Kentucky. Coach Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy on the call as we have Lincoln County on the move right now. We are tied up, seven all, Perry Central versus Lincoln County. You're watching the KHSAA State Playoffs. Courtesy of Derek Bowling at Kentucky Farm Bureau. Third down and Kemper seven. Kemper Furniture, East Main Street Pharmacy, and Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance. Shotgun. Yeah. Man in motion. He's going to keep it. Horton gets drugged down. Yeah, hung up right in the middle. Nowhere to go. Yeah, going to be well shy there. He snagged on to him. He wasn't letting him loose. That was number 32. On the tackle, Chancey Hurley. Fourth and three. Yeah. I'm assuming they're going to go for this one. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, when you're this deep, yeah, you got to, unless you got a good punter. Absolutely. I mean, a good kicker, I mean. Perry County Central. Let's see if they can get this all-important stop. Lincoln County. Let's Let's see if they stay in the shotgun. They, they're going to talk call, it over? Yeah, they're going to call a timeout. They'll take a quick timeout. We'll jump out, too. You're watching Playoff Football on the D&D Sports Network. Let the folks at Double Quick help you start your 2022 off right. They've brought back the Bourbon Pecan Coffee for a limited time only. You can also quench your thirst with the great deals on fountain drinks they offer daily. Double Quick is your one-stop shop for everything. They offer breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can stop by one of their many storefront locations spread throughout Eastern Kentucky. Stop by and let Double Quick make your day better. Back here, Daryl McCoy 
You've been doing it all here, brother, since we got here. You've been taking care of the uh, producing, the technicalities of everything, and and uh, I think we're kind of settled in now, possibly. Yeah, it's been a wild night, guys. As you know, if you go on YouTube, there is a couple links up. You know, you got to make sure you go click the one on Facebook to get the right link. But hopefully we're good here from here on out. We do apologize we couldn't get it on Facebook for you, but uh-oh, nice job. We've got a flag on there. Yeah. Oh. Fired out to the flat. Good defense. Yeah, good defense. I thought maybe there could have possibly been a flag. No, sir. Official right on top of it. Yeah, and that, that was number 11, Caden Haddix. Perry County Central to take over on downs. Yeah, Caden Haddix, great defense there. So Commodores will take over. Coach right around the 20-yard line here. So let's see, you know, they drove the field while ago and got a quick score, tied this thing up, seven all. You know, but I think uh, anybody that's telling you the truth would be uh, thoroughly surprised at this I, Lincoln County team right now. I agree 100%. You know, and you never know, when it comes to playoff football, you're playing for your uh, football lives, you know. I mean, you lose, you go home, your season's over. Absolutely. There you go, Seth Jackson. He's dangerous, coach. Almost hit that outside, Daryl. Yeah, he's drugged down at about the 27-yard line. And, Coach, there's a lot of chippiness. Uh, yeah. You know, it, the officials, they, they better get this under control quickly or they're going to have a mess on their hands. Yeah, yes, sir. It could escalate in a big-time way. Mm -hmm. Perry County Central looking to capitalize on their last possession. Big time uh, TD by Kaiser. Kaiser Sloan in the backfield. He's got Seth Jackson back there with him. He hands it off. Jackson, he's across the 30. Breaks loose. Lowers the shoulder. He stays up, coach. He's around the 47 yard line. Nice run there. Absolutely. And he hit that outside. Here, here we go, Darrell. That's that chippiness you're talking about. Yep. Looks like we're going to get a, a flag possibly on Lincoln County. Coach, I tell you, you know, that Seth Jackson, you know, he says that, that's what weight room does for you. Absolutely. You better, it, it ain't going to be the, listen, you're going to have to hit him more than once to bring him down. Yeah, he's one of them, He uh, he's, he's normally the low man. And, and, and if I'm Lincoln County's coach, I'm highly upset right now because his players are showing no discipline. Well, the bigger thing is, though, they came in here and had all the momentum on their side. I mean, they, they yeah. were getting stops. They, they yeah. marched down the field. You don't want to kind of let things uh, escalate to where, like you said, uh, the discipline of the team kind of come unglued. Coach, there's no need for Tom Fullery. Oh, not at all. There you go, Kaiser Sloan right now. And again, Kaiser Sloan, you can see he's uh, he's got that left shoulder padded up well. He comes in uh, under the weather. He's fighting through a lot of pain to be here playing in this ball game right now as he's got a damaged left shoulder. Lincoln County doing a nice job wrapping him up, but still Perry uh, made a nice gain out of it. You know, Coach, if you ain't never watched Perry Central, man, you're in for a treat offensively. You know, they got a uh, they got a slew of characters on offense. You got Kaiser Sloan, Seth Jackson. You got Noah Kilber and uh, uh, Derek Fields. You know, uh, the, I, I mean, you, you can just uh, – Chancey Hurley. You know, th there's a slew of talent on this Absolutely. offensive side of the ball for the Commodores. Seth Jackson in the backfield with Kaiser Sloan. Mm -hmm. Three wide outs. He hands it off. Jackson, he busts through the line across the 20. Now the Commodores are in the red zone, Coach. In the red zone. Nice job by the O-line to create that hole. I believe I might have been able to run through that one. <laughs> yeah, uh, this O-line doing a great job, Coach. And one of my favorite O-linemen, uh, uh, Jarrett Neese. Seth Jackson, he is just an absolute baller, Daryl. Can flat out get it done. Guys are slowing. Oh. No, I don't think anybody jumped. No, they did a nice job. Uh, Commodores wanted it, though. Hands it off again. And he gets wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. I think that was essentially the, the 
the same as that play call, Daryl. Yeah, that was that was Horton getting a tackle there. Seth Jackson. Now right here, Coach. Watch number ten out there to the far side of your screen. Noah Kilburn. You know, this right here is when they like to call his number. The junior. Really space in the field here, Daryl. Nice throw. Really nice oh. throw. Big yeah. time. Big time hit, big time tackle. Yeah. That was number 16, Der Derek Fields. Yeah. Derek Fields, the junior, coming up with a big, he hauled it down. Marching on down. Uh, clock running. First and eight. Kaiser Schoen. Looks to the sideline for a signal. Yeah. Uh, they audible the play here. Let's see. Hands it off to Jackson. Jackson. He's across the 10. Touchdown, Commodores. A little too easy on that one, Darrell McCoy. He kind of walked in there. Perry Central will take the lead here on a Seth Jackson touchdown run. Perry County Central's kind of calmed down, Daryl. Uh, kind of settled in. Yeah. And they are operating at a high level right now. They have. Perry Central has calmed down. Uh, but Lincoln County. Yeah, they're kind of a little yeah. discombobulated now. They are. The uh, Perry Central right now, they have them back on their heels. Extra point. Is up and good by Bo Bolton. Perry Central will take the 14 to 7 lead over Lincoln County. You're watching playoff football on the D&D Sports Network. We'll be right back. This is Bruce Walters from Bruce Walters Kia. By now you know Kia is a great vehicle and you know they come with a 10 year 100,000 mile warranty. So why should you buy from Bruce Walters Kia? At Bruce Walters Kia, we're going to change your oil for free for life. And what you do with that money you save is up to you. Come check out the 2022 Kia Carnival and the 2021 Kia Sorento. Only at Bruce Walters Kia in Pikeville. Or shop us online at BruceWaltersKia.com. Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance is excited to announce a new partnership with Quantum Healthcare. Quantum continues to offer the same care at their location at 210 Black Gold Boulevard in Hazard. Quantum is open 24 hours per day with numerous providers and services available. They accept Medicaid and most major insurances. Call area code 607. Back here, Daryl McCoy. My, oh, my, Seth Jackson with an un <laughs> unbelievable uh, first half so far. And ball going to roll out about the seven-yard line. So they will start the drive on the 20. 20-yard line, Lincoln County. Let's see if they can calm down, kind of get back to what they were doing the first half of that first quarter. Looking good. As you see the score on the top right-hand corner of your screen, that's the East Main Street Pharmacy scoreboard in the top right-hand corner of your screen. I want to thank Deshae Wooten and the folks at East Main Street Pharmacy, Scott Napier and the folks at Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance, Thomas Kemper and the folks at Kemper Furniture, and Derek Bowling at Kentucky Farm Bureau for sponsoring tonight's action, as well as our friends at Double Quick. Horton lining up in the gun, Coach. Nowhere to go, Daryl. Yeah. Oh, uh-oh, halfback pass. He got it. He's open, Coach. He's across the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Patriots. A little trickery, Daryl McCoy. No, How do you no, like that? No, no, no. How about that top 10 play? Barely got it off, Coach. Yes, sir. I like it. That was number 11 on the reception, Coach, and uh, I don't have an 11 when, on my. When it's playoff time, you better believe you better pull out all stops, and sure enough. Listen. That you, you got at this time of the year, you got your entire playbook open. Exactly do got, right. Do we got number yeah, 11? No, we don't have number 11, Daryl. 
And it is good. We're tied up again. 14 all. We're going to take a quick break. Be right back here on the D&D Sports Network. Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance East Kentucky Chiropractic wants to remind you about their sports injury recovery clinic. Dr. Dale Williams has been providing treatment for sports injuries of all kinds for over 20 years, offering individualized treatments utilizing x-ray and therapies like cold laser, e-stem, and manipulation. East Kentucky Chiropractic can get you off the sidelines and back into the game. Schedule an appointment today with Dr. Williams or Dr. Fields. Call 606-487-9505. We accept most insurances, Medicare and Medicaid. If you was pushed out of the area because of loss of work in the coal industry, look no longer. Jim Mar is here for you. Jim Mar is now hiring for all positions in the coal field. Stop by their offices in Logan, West Virginia or in Willing, West Virginia and apply today. We are back here in Perry County as we have Perry Central versus Lincoln County. Here in the KHSAA State Playoffs, first round here. We are tied up 14 all Lincoln County and Perry Central. And what a run down the sideline. Coach, he's got room. One man to beat. And he does. Stiff arm finally knocked out, though. Are you kidding me? Coach, how about that? That was number six on the return, Tate Watts. He hit the sideline and hit the turbo button. Nobody was catching him. Finally got knocked out, Coach Air, by number 12. Big play after big play here. That was Gavin Douglas saving a touchdown for Lincoln County. Coach will go that, uh, on that touchdown play. That was Connor Davis with that 65-yard uh, halfback yeah. re uh, reception. Uh, injured most of the year. Yeah. Connor Davis, number 11 for Lincoln County. Keep an eye on Mr. Davis throughout this ball game. Sitting up in a shotgun. Yeah, he scored on a 65-yard halfback pass there to tie this thing up. 14 all. Kaiser Sloan has Seth Jackson in the backfield with him. Hands it off, Jackson. Ja oh, almost turned yeah. it. No, sir. Yeah, Lincoln County not saying no. you ain't going nowhere, brother. No, he finally caught, and he's run down there by Gr Grady Foster. Again, guys, we apologize the, uh, that we are not on Facebook Live. Uh, we did share the link over on Facebook, so if you guys don't care, hit that share button on that link and let everybody know we are live because a lot of people probably can't find us right now, but let them know we are live here. Perry Central versus Lincoln County on the D&D Sports Network. Kaiser Sloan coming out. Jackson in the backfield with him. Yeah, two receivers to the bottom side of your screen. Sloan looks right. There he is, Noah Kilburn. Touchdown, Commodores. Gerald McCoy, that was a big-time play call. Yeah, I, I, listen, that kid right there, you're talking about big-time plays, Coach. That's a future Division I receiver. Yes, sir. If he keeps working. Wow. Noah Kilburn. Really impressed with the OC's play calling so far for Perry County Central. Yeah, doing a great job. Coach Dixon, you know, he's got a good staff under him here and right now Perry Central has the 2014 lead looking to tack on an extra one here and it barely got inside there coach score will be 21 Perry Central 14 Lincoln County we'll be right back here on the d, &D Sports Network this is Bruce Walters from Bruce Walters Kia by now you know Kia is a great vehicle and you know they come with a 10 year 100,000 mile warranty so why should you buy from Bruce Walters Kia? At Bruce Walters Kia, we're going to change your oil for free for life. And what you do with that money you save is up to you. Come check out the 2022 Kia Carnival and the 2021 Kia Sorento. Only at Bruce Walters Kia in Pikeville. Or shop us online at brucewalterskia.com. Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance East Kentucky Chiropractic wants to remind you about their sports injury recovery clinic. Dr. Dale Williams has been providing treatment for sports injuries of all kinds for over 20 years, offering individualized treatments utilizing x-ray and therapies like cold laser, e-stem, and manipulation. East Kentucky Chiropractic can get you off the sidelines and back into the game. Schedule an appointment today with Dr. Williams or Dr. Fields. Call 606-487-9505. We accept most insurances, Medicare and Medicaid. 
We are back here in Perry County. We have the Perry Central Commodores leading Lincoln County 21-14 here in the first round of the KHSAA State Playoffs. Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy on the call. There you go, squib kick coach. It is, oh, I feel it. Uh-oh, he got lucky, Coach, he because did. Perry Central, you know, their uh, kickoff team was down there to cover that one in a hurry. But somehow he fell on it, and uh, Lincoln County will start this drive deep in their own territory. Yeah, this is my type of game, Darrell McCoy. Big plays, big moments, big-time players, big-time talent. Big-time plays going on here. 4A football action. And it's like two uh, heavyweight boxers just throwing haymakers out there. Yes, sir. And guys, don't forget at halftime, stick around as we have the double quick halftime update where we will get you caught up on all the scores from around the region. Empty backfield this time for Sawyer. There you go, empty backfield, man in motion. He's going to hand it off at Lane. Lane trying to get to the edge. Cuts up field. He is drugged down, coach, with a gain of about nine on the play. He's going to be about a yard shy of the first down. Got a player down. Timeout on the field, the official's timeout. Okay, we're going to take a timeout, Coach. Uh, we'll stay here during this one and you know, want to make sure that everybody we think are sponsors that makes tonight's games possible. I'm going to go ahead. As you see in here, Coach, they are uh, over there. They're, uh, looks like they got the player off the field, and he's going to be okay there. So they're going to resume play here. Lincoln County coming out again in that shotgun formation. Both teams, I don't know either team has lined up under center or oh. not. And great job. Nice hard count. I and think I, they threw him off, threw him off didn't they, Darrell? Yeah, and I don't, I don't even think that the quarterback was even using the hard count yeah. there. It didn't, I, I didn't see it. Yeah, I think Perry Central was just a little antsy there. Perry Central, you, you know what was coming there. Yep. Shotgun action. Yeah. He's going to hand it off to Horton. Nowhere to and go. No, sir. Number 75. He says, I'm eating, brother. He okay. said, nowhere to go. So that was Landon Sullivan on the tackle. Landon Stamper, correct, Darrell? Stamper. No, Sullivan. Number 75. It, it could be. It's got Sullivan on here. It's yeah. got Stamper on there. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know which one it is. It's got uh, two different names on the roster, Coach. Well, one thing for sure, it's Landon. Yeah, there we go. Landon with the tackle. There we go. Yeah. Lincoln County. Yeah, they're hurrying up here to the line. Two receivers to the bottom side of your screen. You're going to hand it off. That's Lane. Lane. He gets tackled again. Noah Wooten. Looking for a hole. Looking for daylight. No, sir. Perry County Central closed it off really quick. Yeah, Noah Wooten, man, he, he's been right there to make that play all night long. Third and eight for Lincoln County. A big third down play here for the Patriots. Coach, if they don't convert this one, watch out. It would be huge. You definitely, whoever's in this ball game, Coach, can't go down two scores. You go down two scores, you're asking for trouble. Wooten, he's looking downfield, coach. He is finally drugged down. You got to get rid of that. Yeah, that, that's what I was going to say, Darrell. You got to get rid of it. Yeah. Hung on to it too long. Yeah, it looks like he, uh, now they're, they're going to say he got back to the line of scrimmage, but they're going to bring the punt team out here. So Perry Central will hopefully get this one back. Commodore fans say with a good field position. Fourth down here. Looks like we got Tate Watts back there to return. He almost returned to kickoff four goes. So let's see what he can do in the punt return game. Uh oh, high snap! Perry Central will have the ball. 
with great field position, Coach. They will start this drive on the 21. Great play by the defense there. Mishandled snap by the punter. Coach, situations like this, you know, you know them kids' nerves are running wild and rampant right now. Absolutely. Uh, you got to be dialed in, locked in. Uh, nerves of steel come playoff time. Lincoln County. Man, what a bad turnover in a uh, horrible time of the game. Now Perry Central trying to go up two scores here. Kaiser Sloan dropping back. He looks right. Coach goes to the corner of the end zone. Oh, Great defense there by Connor Davis. Absolutely. That was a big time, big time defensive stop there on McCoy. I mean, he was right there. And he's begging the official for offensive pass interference. Official said, no, sir, you're not going to get it. You don't get them calls on the road, coach. No. I'm telling you, this quarterback's the next level QB, though. His arm, his release, Daryl. There's Kaiser Sloan again. Running from the gun here. Seth Jackson in the backfield with him. Jackson takes the handoff. Splits through, Coach. He's got plenty of room. Drug out inside the 10-yard line. It's going to be, looks like, spotted at the 8. Jackson, very impressive there. My first time getting a scene. Uh, he, uh, Seth Jackson, at one time, he was leading the mountains in rushing. And you can see why. Yeah, and, and another kid that, uh, that I love watching, uh, we've not called his name yet tonight, but on defense is Phoenix Eddington. He's another big star that puts up uh, big time numbers, led the mountains in tackles for a bit. Go Kaiser Sloan. Lines up under center. First time tonight. Hands it off. There's Seth Jackson. He balls his way in the end zone. Commodores go up. Two scores here with a Seth Jackson touchdown. This young man's very impressive. Those cowbells ringing loud right now, Darrell McCoy. You're going to hear a lot of them at Mississippi State tomorrow, too, yeah. when UK goes down there, so get used to them. So extra point attempt by Bo Boken. It's up and good. Perry Central will take the 28-14 lead over Lincoln County. We'll take a quick break. Be right back with more playoff action on the D&D Sports Network. Hello, I'm Dr. Alan Baldwin here at Maynard Chiropractic. For nearly 20 years, Maynard Chiropractic has been the gold standard of chiropractic care in Eastern Kentucky. We have two convenient locations in East Point, Kentucky on US 23 on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and on Tuesday and Thursday in Rock City and Paintsville. So give us a call here at Maynard Chiropractic at 606-886-3737 and schedule your appointment with Better Health today. Come visit us at Castles Jewelry and Co-Run today. We got a history of making sure our clients' needs and wants are met. Castles Jewelry has a large selection of rings, necklaces, bracelets, and more. Remember, friends come and go. Jewelry lasts forever. We are back here in Hazard, Kentucky. Perry Central with a 28-14 lead over Lincoln County. Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy on the call. Patriots take the kickoff. Oh. And he is feared, Coach. That's, that's that, a, he was feared. <laughs> that's a Goldberg spear there. Exactly what I was about to say. Yeah, the, uh, that was Hunter Griffey making a huge hit there. And, you know, listen, if Hunter Griffey don't make that play right there, he you know, could have been gone. Yeah, and uh, listen, that's a collision that only Derek Bowling can cover. <laughs> We're at Kentucky Farm Bureau. Absolutely. 28 to 14. Perry County Central with the advantage. Daryl McCoy now. They said you get to a two touchdown lead, and you're you're in a really good position in this game. So Horton has two backs in the backfield with him. He hands it off the lane. Lane trying to get around that left side there. No doing. No. Nowhere to go. 
they've not really been able to get on the edges, Daryl, and do anything. I mean, it's it's um, really been. Um, they haven't, and you know, if I'm if I'm Lincoln County, I'm going back to the air. That's where most of their success has been. Right. That's what I exactly what I was about to say. Their successes came from Horton making plays. Guys, hit that like and share button. Get these numbers up. Commodores with a 28-14 lead over Lincoln County here. You're watching the D&D Sports Network. He's rolling to his left, coach, or rolling right. Big defensive play, coach, again. Look who it was, Hunter Griffey. Back-to-back -back tackles for the young man. Uh, yeah, big-time tackle. Again, Darrell, you know, maybe nowhere to throw, maybe. But I'm getting rid of that football. Yeah, he's got to get rid of it, Coach. That's one thing. He's hanging on to it too quick, which right there he had a lot of pressure. There's a timeout on the field. They're going to take a timeout. We'll jump out, too. We'll be right back with more playoff football action. Southside Buildings and Carports and Southside Shed Hunters of Louisa, Kentucky offers shed hauling services up to 16 by 52 long buildings. We also have lofted cabins, Utility cabins, garages, man caves, she sheds that you can customize and order to your wants and needs with many different options such as workbenches, shelving, transom windows, and much more. You can go to the location or buy using 3D Builder's online order system. You can build right from your own home. We offer metal garages and carports that are built to any size and installed right on your property. For more info, call 304-928-0060 or 304-928-0062. Here at Southside Buildings and Carports, we've got you covered. We are back here. Swings it over. Nice screen pass, Coach. Brought down at about the 33. Here we Again. go. More Tom Fuller, he goes. Yeah, I was about to say it. Uh, extra quick reactivity is going on here. I, again, I'm keeping it. Their success has came from Horton throwing the football, making plays, running. Um, I'm letting that QB go to work here because nothing's happening on those edges. Under two to play here, 159 here to go in the half. Perry County Central 28, Lincoln County 14, and my first time getting to see Perry County Central, and I'm just going to give a hats off to the coaching staff and the OC. Oh, yeah, I like his changing it, the changing it up of play calling, Daryl McCoy. I like what he's doing using that playbook. Yeah, the, uh, <clears throat> you, you know, at this at this point in the season your playbook is wide open you know you're saving nothing for tomorrow because you know tomorrow isn't guaranteed in playoff football so here you go Lincoln County coming out in the gun Horton has one back in the backfield with him pooch kick nope he's putting coach pooch kick and that's what they needed. It's going to uh, it's going to fall dead, Coach. Looks like about the 26-yard line. That's where the Commodores will start this drive. But good job catching Perry Central off guard there. Absolutely. Yeah, so that's going to be 153 to go. And Perry Central starting to drive on the 26. There's Mr. Phoenix Eddington, Coach, a senior for the Commodores and uh, one of, now they call the timeout. So they call the timeout, we'll jump out for one too. We'll be right back here on the D&D Sports Network. If you're looking for a great selection and a great experience for your next Harley Davidson, come on down to Mount St. Harley Davidson here in Del Barton, West Virginia. We have new 2023 models in stock and ready for delivery. Special financing available. Or choose pre-owned with one of the largest inventories in the tri-state area with great low prices. Visit our showroom filled with licensed Harley Davidson apparel and more. Don't write that check until you check with us, Mountain State Harley-Davidson, 61 Priest Bottom Road, or visit us online at mountainstatehd.com. Looking for a great selection, great prices, and a great experience on your next ATV, motorcycle, or side-by-side? -side? Come check out Kiefer's Kawasaki. Our number one goal is to offer you the best power sport experience at a great price. 
like this new 23 Kawasaki Terex 4 for only $17,999. Before you write that check, check with us. And remember, your adventure starts here at Kiefer Kawasaki. Route 44 South. 27, 153 left in half. We are back here. Kaiser Sloan, he goes deep, coach. He's going for a shot He's here. He's got him. Yes, he does. What a play. Man, this senior here going out on a high note, Derek Fields. He says, how you like me now? Hurry up offense, Daryl. They're getting right into it. Yeah. Sloan is the real deal. Right back at it here, Daryl. Yeah, Kaiser Sloan. Two wide outs to the top of your screen. He looks right. Fires. He's got a man. Oh. And Noah Kilburn, if he would have just stuck his hands out, I coach, so. that would have fell right to him there. But his line of sight was blocked by the back there, I think. Second down and 10 here. Perry County Central on the move. Sloan in the shotgun. Sloan. Lies him my man down the sideline, Daryl. Yep. Derek Fields with the reception. The junior. Red zone time for Perry County Central. You know, you, this is important here. Momentum on your side. You're in the red zone. You want to get that TD going into halftime, go up three touchdowns. Absolutely do, Coach. Shotgun. Jackson in the uh, joining uh, Sloan in the back. Got him. Touchdown. Perry County Central. Tyler Robinson with the TD. for the extra point. Kick is up and good by Bo Brocken. So Perry Central takes the 35-14 lead over Lincoln County with 1.10 to go. We'll take a quick break. Be right back here on the D&D Sports Network. If you was pushed out of the area because of loss of work in the coal industry, look no longer. Jim Mar is here for you. Jim Marr is now hiring for all positions in the coal field. Stop by their offices in Logan, West Virginia or in Willing, West Virginia and apply today. We're back here in Hazard, Kentucky, Perry Central with the 35-14 lead over Lincoln County here. Coach Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy on the call. All of a sudden, everything clicking. Uh, they go onside's kick. And oh. they get it. He's still on his feet. What they? Well, yeah. Why'd they stop it? Why was there a stoppage in play, Daryl? I don't know unless they said he stepped out. Perry County Central, again, you got to credit this coaching staff. Prepared, ready, got their guys dialed in. Everything. Everything working right now for Perry County Central. And Coach Dixon right now has the Commodores firing on all cylinders. Coaching staff doing a tremendous job. Kaiser Sloan, two receivers on the top side. Two backs in the backfield with him. Sloan rose right, looking downfield, Coach. Coach at is called at the 20 and ridden down finally at the 11 yard line was Tyler Smith on the reception. Tyler Smith just carrying folks, Daryl. 
Yeah, you, you can tell Coach Dixon has these boys in the weight room because every <laughs> one of them, man, their, their yards after contact is unbelievable. Yeah. How, how many uh, yards they're getting after hit. A little late. Had him. Yeah. A little late on the pass, Daryl. If not, he, he would have been wide open for a TD. And listen, Noah Kilburn, as I said, Coach, that's a Division I wideout yeah. uh, out there, just a sophomore. But credit Connor Davis in the job he's done. You know, he's uh, Kilburn's really only got loose once from him. Yeah. If you're Lincoln County, uh, no pun intended, your backs are really up against the wall here. You you need to get a stop. Yeah, Kaiser Sloan. Two, two. Uh, Pressure comes. He rose to the right side, throws the lob up, and intercepted. Daryl. Yes. And, Coach, that's one Kaiser Sloan. You know, I know Kaiser Sloan really well, and I know he knows better than that right there. Yeah, that was uh, – but, uh, again, Lincoln County got what they needed because, listen, and their backs were up against the wall going here at halftime. Yep. You couldn't let another scorer on the board. And right now, they got six seconds. Let's see if they can uh, if they can get a Hail Mary here. Looking to make something out of, listen, make the impossible the possible, right? Six seconds. Yeah. Can they can they get a score here? Guys, make sure you guys stick around for halftime. Double quick halftime report. We'll get you caught up on all the scores from around the region. And, Coach, they nailed it. I never understood that, why if you're losing, yeah. you don't take a shot at the end right. zone. I'm with you. All right, All right guys, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back here on the D&D Sports Network. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. The Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance wants to inform the general public that Little Flower Clinic is a full-service medical clinic available for everyone. We accept most major insurances like the one your employer provides and Medicaid. Little Flower has an experienced staff of medical professionals providing all types of services from general physicians, mental health services, dental, chronic disease case management, and even chiropractic. We have on-site x-ray and laboratory services. Little Flower Clinic, everyone's medical home in the mountains. Kentucky Farm Bureau agents wear a lot of hats. There are coaches, volunteers, church members, neighbors, someone who's there when you need them, especially when you need them most. That may be a lot of hats, but they're all the perfect fit. Kentucky Farm Bureau. Big on commitment. It's our 60th anniversary sale at Kimber's. Since 1963, it's been our family serving your family, and we want to celebrate with you with some of the best offers in our history. Kimber has up to 60% off store-wide, up to 60 months interest-free. With your minimum purchase, free delivery up to 60 miles, and with any mattress purchase, your foundation is only $60. The 60th anniversary sale, only at your favorite Kimber store. Hi everybody, Dave Baker here for Citizens Bank of Kentucky. Do you want to love your car even more? How about putting extra cash in your pocket each month by refinancing with new low rates at CBK? It is fast, it's easy, all you have to do is log on to wearecitizens.bank. We are back here in Perry County as you're watching the Double Quick Halftime Report with Kevin Keithley and Daryl McCoy. Coach, right now we see Perry Central leading Lincoln County 35-14 to 14 at the half. And uh, they've really opened up all doors. They've done it in all three phases of the game. Offense, defense, special teams, all has come up big for the Commodores. Absolutely. And listen, a little discombobulation early. Lincoln County got off to a really good start. Momentum on their side. Got a big stop. Marched down the field, got a big-time touchdown. Oh, no, Perry County Central came back. And credit, uh, listen, I credit the OC, the coaching staff, 
uh, because they, as you mentioned, they're opening the playbook up and some really nice formations, really nice play calls. And listen, 35-14, Perry County Central uh, with a three-foot touchdown lead. Yeah, the uh, and, and you know when when you sit here and look, you know Kaiser Sloan, he played almost a perfect half. You know he threw that interception there at the end, but that's just garbage. You know that's a garbage time interception. You know it, it'll show up in the stat book, but everybody knows it was right at the end of the half. And this is go ahead. You know, and then you know I mean you look, Seth Jackson has really carried the Commodores in this first half. I mean. He has been a man amongst boys out there, done anything he wanted in the rushing game. Absolutely. And this is my first time getting to see this Perry County Central squad and Kaiser Sloan and uh, Mr. Seth Jackson. But Kaiser Sloan, Darrell, no doubt about it, he is a next-level QB. He absolutely is. Coach, uh, we got some scores going on around the region. Again, guys, you're watching the Double Quick Halftime Update. Belfry leads Clay County 35-20. to 20. Sayer on top of uh, Fairview, 48 to nothing. We have Mingo Central leading Mount View, 41 to nothing in the second quarter. Uh, Breathitt County trails Bracken County, 14 to 13. Mm. So the Polar Bears on top there. Then we got Covington Calf uh, on top, 49 to six over Greenup County. We got Martin County leading Pike Central, 14 to nothing. We have Chapmanville leading man, 17 to nothing. Then Floyd Central sitting on a four-point advantage over East Ridge right now, 24 to 20. Russell leads Bourbon County, 35 to nothing. Ashland on top of Harrison County, 42 to six. We have Herbert Hoover all over Logan, 57 to 20. Paintsville leading Pineville, 28 to nothing. Betsy Lane sitting on a seven to nothing lead on Prestonsburg at the half. So low scoring affair there. Then we got Lawrence County up 15 to six on Knox Central. Boyd County up 14 to nothing on Mason County. Lexington Catholic up 41 to nothing on West Carter. Then we got Williamsburg up 28 six on Hazard. And Boyle County leads Whitley County 41-6. to six. That wraps up the scores from around the region. Coach, I want to let you talk real quick here with the, uh, with the man, myth, the legend of AMW. You better believe it. Mr. Kyle Maggard. He's going to tell you about an upcoming event here on November 18th, Coach. I'm going to let you talk to him about his upcoming event. Yes, sir. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, listen. Hey, you don't get any bigger. In southeastern Kentucky, throughout the Commonwealth, when you talk about professional wrestling, then AMW. And when you talk about AMW, you got to talk about the cornerstone. And I'm talking about, yes, sir, one half of the AMW tag team champions, Mr. Kyle Maggard. Yeah, we got him up in the booth, and we just want to find out what's going down in just a couple of weeks right here in Hazard, Kentucky. Well, Coach, I mean, it's it's all going down with talking Thanksgiving turmoil. It's their biggest event of the year. Goes down in hazard around Thanksgiving every year. I mean, it's going to be rocking and rolling there at West Perry. Last time we were there was about six months ago. The building was sold out. So they, they were hanging from the rafters. And, and listen, why not, right? Because, listen, since we've jumped on board with AMW, and I can say this without a shadow of a doubt, and uh, in another lifetime, I used to be involved with OVW over in Louisville, Kentucky. And, uh, your said, heart. Yeah. And uh, that was during the days of Al Snow's beginning days and Jim Cornette. But listen, ladies and gentlemen, I said, this is how you do it. And uh, there's, there's a lot of Johnny-come-latelys in Eastern Kentucky. There's a lot of backyard wrestling going down. But you guys put on a first-class operation, and it's from bell to bell. Uh, just as good as you'll find anywhere. Talent, production, and, oh, yeah, storyline. <laughs> well, we, we, well, thank you for the kind words, Coach. We, we, we do try, as they say. We try to do, do the best we can. And, 
and I feel like we do a pretty good job. And you're right, there is a lot of backyard here in eastern Kentucky. So if you don't see AMW on the marquee, uh, you know it's not legit. Right. You better believe that. And we've got Thanksgiving turmoil. We're no, November the 18th. Only a couple of weeks away, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm hearing some big-time names involved. I'm hearing some... Uh, 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 the, in, the frenemies? Is that what we're going to call it? The I don't know what we're calling me and Stan Sierra. Uh, right now you're just calling us the AMW Tag Team Champions. You better believe it. Yeah, and I don't like that guy that they make me team with, but we've got the gold. So By hook or by crook, you got out of there against Bobby Love and the Zodiac uh, last week. Talk a little bit about that upcoming card. And this is kind of the, the payoff. This is kind of the, the Starcade. Uh, I could be wrong, of this, AMW. This is the Starcade of AMW. You're exactly right. <laughs> As Jody Maggard, the uh, uh, Perry County Finance uh, extraordinary clerk, just comes by, gives me the thumbs up, going to give us more money there at West Perry Elementary where I coach basketball. <laughs> He's going to give us a big grant, big donation. you got to love uh, <laughs> No, you're talking about the card. Uh, I think – I, I've got an exclusive that I don't think they've even broke on our social media that the NWA, who uh, Ricky Morton and his son, Kerry Morton, are, are contracted to, they're scheduled to face me in Stan Sierra. Well, the NWA, which is signed to do television on CW Network, uh, is doing regular tapings now bi-weekly, and they picked up a taping in Sarasota, Florida. So the Mortons, unfortunately, have to go to Sarasota. Now, I've not been told who our opponents are going to be, Coach, but they said they're going to make the announcement this weekend. They're going to find a substitute, somebody of the same caliber as, as a Ricky and, a, and his son, Kerry. Also, way that I don't know, they didn't say it for sure, but they hinted possible former world tag team champions in some promotion, some form or fashion. So you'll have to tune in to AMW's Facebook page or check out amwrestling.com or, or a website and for that. But also on the card, Coach, we've got former ECW heavyweight champion, former WWE superstar, Rhino, in the house. You're talking about a guy that's laid the smack down on the rock. That's gored stone cold. Yeah. Went through Kurt Angle, went through The Undertaker, went through them all. In the hottest time in professional wrestling, the Attitude Era. He's going to be right there at West Perry Elementary. And we have very special meet and greet tickets. Yeah. If you want to sit front row at the show, if you want to meet Rhino, go to eventbrite.com or amwrestling.com and get your tickets. There's only 50 tickets, and I think they're almost gone. There might be 10 that remain that get you in an hour before anybody else and get you in a private room with Rhino. So, uh, well, two things. One, congratulations to the NWA with that partnership with the CW. Wrestling continues to grow and boom, and AMW's right along on that train track. Uh, that locomotive just getting uh, getting stronger, gaining momentum, gaining momentum. But you better believe one thing: the AMW Matchmakers is going to have a formidable opponent for uh, the frenemies, right? <laughs> <laughs> they are. They're going to have to. I mean. I, I'm, I'm just looking forward to see who they announce. Uh, whoever they announce, you know, I'm going to do my best to be ready. I hope Stan Sierra is going to do his best to be ready so I'm not pulling the wagon by myself, as they say. But, you know, we're also on the card, we've got Marty Clay. Yeah. Marty Clay's taking on Corey Sparks, two of the – Marty is, is one of the hottest wrestlers in the yeah. southeast part of the United States right now. Corey Sparks is a young, up-and-comer, high-flying athlete that uh, everybody needs to get out and check that guy out. And, and him and Marty going back and forth, that's going to be a well of a match. A good one. Then uh, you got Chris Michaels taking on Big John G. You know, Chris Michaels, the headliner, who – Started out in Smoky Mountain Wrestling. He's wrestled for WCW. He's wrestled for the WWE. He's been all over national, regional television star. He's in AMW. You know, he's trying to chase down Stan Sierra, who happens to be the AMW right. champion, too. So, you know, he's Big John G. He's young. He's about 360 pounds. He's about six foot five. Mm -hmm. So, beast of a man. You know, that's right. going to be a banger of a match, too. And we got ladies on the card, okay. Coach. Yeah, here we go. We got ladies. We got Big Mama taking on Jack Stinger. Yeah. Yeah, Big Mama. Uh, <laughs> Daryl like Big Mama. <laughs> right. Well, I'm looking forward to that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, we, we, we've also got the big 6'11", 
300 plus pound mass monster misery yes taking on seven foot 500 pound big rig jake break we're looking for jody that everybody out here on the dnd sports network they're they're commenting like wild on the stream talking about how they how they appreciate the fact that our finance clerk is going to make a large contribution to westbury <laughs> basketball this season yeah, anything you want. that's what i like to hear anything i want that's exactly right <laughs> well you listen you've also got and we got a couple minutes we you also got oh yeah one of my favorites bobby love on the card bobby love defending the southeastern heavyweight championship against the self-proclaimed appalachian nightmare yeah eric porter <laughs> right so that should be a good one uh so top to bottom it's going to be an unbelievable card think and listen not a better time to bring the family out think Around that Thanksgiving time period, it's always a great time to get together, bring the kids, bring the aunt and uncle, bring the grandma and grandpa, enjoy some real professional wrestling. Right, that's exactly right. Joy, or come enjoy the very best professional wrestling you'll see in the regional area. Uh, no doubt about it. Well, here's the bottom line. D&D Sports Network, A&W Wrestling. It is the mega powers of partnerships. Sports entertainment at its very best. It don't get any better. Oh, yeah. And I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait personally. I'll be there. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a happening. Yes, sir. You know, with Coach Daryl, and then you got JR and G Man, yeah. and Thomas will be there, yeah. and the whole crew. You got the, the very best in sports and DD sports, and you got the very best in pro wrestling in the mountains coming together. It's going to be a banger of a night, folks. And if you've not got your tickets, I recommend you do. Go to amwrestling.com and order your tickets today. Get them right now before they're gone because I promise you they'll be hanging from the rafters just in a couple of weeks right here in Hazard, Kentucky. Oh, yeah, this is, by the way, this is the cornerstone, Kyle Magger, joining us up here in the booth. Oh, yeah, good to see you. I can't wait. Well, I wasn't expecting to do this impromptu inter interview, so, but uh, I was just up here for the free wings and biscuits. That's why I can't. <laughs> right. Listen, that's Kyle Maggard, the cornerstone, one half of the AMW Tag Team Champions. I, I can guarantee you one thing. Oh, yeah, whoever their tag team partners, uh, excuse me, whoever their opponents are going to be, it's going to be a formidable tag team to replace Ricky Morton and Kerry Morton. No doubt about it, ladies and gentlemen. AMW Wrestling at its very best. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Second half action here live from Perry Central High School. Looking for a great selection, great prices, and a great experience on your next ATV, motorcycle, or side-by-side? -side? Come check out Kiefer's Kawasaki. Our number one goal is to offer you the best power sport experience at a great price. Like this, new 23 Kawasaki Terex 4 for only $17,999. Before you write that check, check with us. And remember, your adventure starts here at Kiefer Kawasaki, Route 44 South, Jerry West Highway in Logan, or visit KieferSpowerSports.net. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. We are back here at Perry Central High School as we have Perry Central versus Lincoln County in the first round of the KTSAA State Playoffs. Coach Winner advances, 
Loser goes home, and right now the Commodores are sitting on a 35-14 to 14 advantage. All over Lincoln County, and listen, if I'm Lincoln County, I want more of Horton and Horton, Darrell McCoy. That's it. And listen, uh, the QB, it seems as though when QB, uh, Mr. Um, Sawyer Horton is making plays when he, he's having the ball in his hands, uh, whether it's throwing or running, good things are happening for Lincoln County. Uh, we'll see if they kind of go back to what worked those first couple of um, uh, possessions for Lincoln County. Coach, look down here. You got the Derek Bowling at Kentucky Farm Bureau tent. Man, you talking about a man that tailgates the right way. He's got it made, and I seen him, you know, he he had some T-shirts he was giving away earlier in the parking lot. And, uh, you know, you talking about that man right there, what he does for this community. You know, uh, it, it's going to be hard to find another sponsor or booster that supports an area like Derek Bowling does Perry Central. Absolutely. And Hazard. Uh, well, Daryl, you know this as well as anyone. It takes community partners uh, to uh, bring out the best, whether it's D&D Sports Network or whether it's what? Yeah, local high schools, local junior highs, and you need individuals uh, just like that. You know, and, and the thing I like, Coach, you know, he wanted to raise money for Hazard and Perry Central. Their middle schools, both middle schools, miles apart, still alive in the state playoffs <laughs> in middle school football. They will play tomorrow, but Derek Bowling did a fundraiser, and he didn't do it just to raise money. You know, he said he wanted to raise money and split it between the two teams so they could help cover their travel. Gave away UK tickets and got a done a great job, raised a lot of money for them two teams tomorrow. Absolutely. Hazard got a big win over Belfry last week. Yeah, them two teams, they should be playing each other miles apart, both of them undefeated. Hopefully that game happens sometime soon. What happened there, Daryl? Yeah, they uh, – I think they said his knee was on the ground. Okay, yeah, I think so. Scraped the ground. So it's going to be uh, – Lincoln County with the ball deep in their own territory, Coach, and Lincoln County cannot catch a break here. No, not at all. Let's see if Sawyer Horton can get something going here. Tremendous QB. That, you can see, uh, just can throw it, can run it. Got an arm on him. Guys, hit that like and share button. Get these numbers up for these boys. Share this broadcast. Let them know we are live on YouTube only tonight. Oh, and Coach, he breaks it. loose. He's across the 20. Found Finally, him. Lane brought down at the 26-yard line. Yeah, Lane found him some uh, daylight and created uh, something out of nothing there. And if you're Lincoln County, you like to see the positive gains and positive yards. 35-14, Perry Central with the advantage here. You know, the, uh, the folks here at uh, – uh, Perry County, man, this administration is first class. Absolutely. You know, Mr. Dixon, the AD, he does a great job getting everybody ready and in place. Here you go, Horton. There he is. Good things yeah. happen when Horton has has a football in his hands. Yeah, and he uh, gets out, picks up about two on the play. Yeah. Two to three yards there. Yeah. And, uh, just keep marching. Keep your head down tunnel vision if you're Lincoln County. And, Coach, look, the Lincoln County faithful, they showed up, they man. Did. They traveled well. For this to be a long trip, I'm very surprised at the fan base that Lincoln County brought. Look at that. Absolutely. Two hours away, they made the drive out, supporting their uh, playoff team. Yeah. There you go. Horton lined up in the gun. He's going to hand off. That's Lane. Not, Coach, not. they've tried that play all night. Phoenix Eddington, he chopped him down quickly in the backfield, but they've tried that play all night, and it's not working every time. Well, Darrell, that's what I was going to say. It seems as though every time they try to turn it on the outside, they try to get something going on the edges, nothing happening. Uh, listen, sometimes you just got to go and roll with what's working, and what's working is Mr. Sawyer Horton, whether it's throwing or running. Go, Coach. Again, Lincoln County facing a big third down play here. Oh, and as a hard count, know. I think. I think yes, they got they him. Did. They got him. Good job by Horton. Yep. I, I think, think that'll bring them. That might. That's that should be a first down, Coach. If not, it's mighty close. Yep. Let's see. Get him right. Yep. Move the chains. Yep. First down. Uh, nice job by Lincoln County to throw them off sides. Sorry, he gave a great impression on 
What's your first impressions of Sawyer uh, Horton, Daryl? I, I think he, he has the ability to be a next-level guy. He's very hard-nosed coach. I, you know, I've seen him. You know, the, the, the thing is, you know, I, I want to see his arm a little more. You know, these right. quarterbacks like uh, – Quarterbacks like him, and this is no disrespect, but they're a dime a dozen in the mountains. You know, when uh, you find a running quarterback like Tyson Sammons, you know, uh, Tyson Sammons is, uh, you know, probably a next level Sawyer Horton. Right. You know, and uh, so, you know, it, it's hard for them uh, players unless you find a system that will run that kind of quarterback. Right. But, you know, we've not seen him use his arm as much as, you know, I, I think most people would like to. So, let's see if they air it out any here. Yeah, and times that he did, it looked good. I yeah. Mean, there yeah. we go. They pitch it out. There's still nothing there. Oh, nothing on the outside there. Yeah. yeah, he picked up maybe a yard, yard and a half on the play. If I'm Lincoln County again, I mean, you keep the ball and, and Horton Sands. If there's one player off this Lincoln County team, if I'm a recruiter that I'm taking, it's number 11, Connor Davis. Yeah. Big-time playmaker. Yeah, but both these Horton boys, I mean, highly talented. You know, we've not seen uh, the running back Horton or the fullback touch the ball Harley coach after yeah. that first quarter. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. There he is, Daryl. Horton breaks through the line, and Coach Eagle pick up another first down for the Patriots. I'll say it again. Sometimes, Daryl McCoy, why change up what's working? Well, I, I will tell you this, Coach. Right now, you're trailing 35-14. You know, you got to get a score here. But, yeah. you know, whenever they come back out the next time, they're going to have to start throwing the football a little because time isn't on their side. You're right. Air it out a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Lincoln County moving the chains. And, again, it's on the back of Horton. Guys, you can see our sponsors down at the bottom of your screen and in the top left-hand corner of your screen. Make sure you like their Facebook page. Tell them thank you for sponsoring D&D Sports Network. Kicked it out, Coach. That's Lane again. Lane <laughs> caught quickly and drugged down by Tyler Smith. Not, I just, uh, yeah, nowhere to go, Daryl. Now, Tyler Smith closed out quickly on that one and this seems uh what the sixth or seventh time we've seen that and it's the sixth or seventh time you got nothing out of it yeah yeah they they keep going to that left side over there look and see if the coach uses that to set something up later yeah. in the game good good point important there you go he fakes it coaching he drugged down after about two on the play. Yeah. Well, Horton says, give me the football and get out of the way. Uh-oh. Here we go. Connor Davis again. And they, uh, and, and this right here, Coach, that should be a flag right there. Their coach is on the field. Yeah, deep. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't like he was. No, not just on barely the on the sideline, and uh, he, you know, right now, you know, that's been the issue. Lincoln County, uh, it's, it's, and this, like I said, there's no, uh, no disrespect because this is a really good team, and I've had a ball watching them. But it's almost like Lincoln County come uh, to a fight, yeah. and Perry Central come to a football game. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, that they need to calm down, calm their heads, and, uh, you know, try to get this in the end zone here. That's Connor Davis. He is shut down quickly over there on the sideline. Darrell, it's fourth down and six. Yeah, what are you doing here? Going for it, right? Well, you got to expect they're going to come up, try to use that hard count again. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, Perry Central's going to be expecting a run. I might take a shot here. He's looking downfield, Coach. He's got room. He's and he's got the down. first down. Yes, he does. Great job there. First down and more. 
Daryl McCoy. Why, listen, Daryl. We talk about it in, during basketball games, right? Sometimes it's just simplicity. Simplicity. You don't have to change a lot of things up. What's working for for um, Lincoln County is Horton. He, uh, he's using his feet really well to create opportunities for his team, and that's what he done there. Yeah. You know, he uh, he kept on guessing, and then last minute he tucked and run, picked up the first down, moved right. the chains. So you got a fresh set of downs here. So he's still, still moving the football here. And he is hit hard there. Jackson Deaton in on the tackle maybe, for the Commodores. Yeah, maybe a yard, yeah. two, right? Again, guys, this is still you're tuning in. This is the opening drive of the third quarter, and Lincoln County has the ball inside the red zone here. Nice drive, but eating a lot of clock. Yep. Shotgun. He's going to keep it, Coach. He's trying to get to the edge. Yes, he is. Touchdown, Patriots. My goodness gracious sakes alive, Daryl McCoy. That kid is a baller. Baller shot caller, man. He, uh, I mean, he is. He was a one man. He marched that down the field. Might have, uh, he had the majority of uh, all, the all-purpose yards there, Daryl. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, that drive was that drive was all Sawyer Horton. Don't change what you're doing, Lincoln County. Uh, they're gonna kick the extra point here. Oh, it's. Coach, I don't know how in the heck he didn't block that there. The, uh, but the, the extra point is good, and we're back to a two-touchdown ball game. We're going to take a quick break. Be right back with more playoff action on the D&D Sports Network. Kentucky Farm Bureau agents wear a lot of hats. They're coaches, volunteers, church members, neighbors, someone who's there when you need them especially when you need them most. That may be a lot of hats, but they're all the perfect fit. Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. We are back here in Hazard, Kentucky. Perry County coach has Perry Central sitting on a 35-21 lead over Lincoln County, but Lincoln County starting the second half off the right way. Yes, sir, and again, uh, behind Mr. Sawyer Horton. Uh-oh, onside kick, nicely executed. I think the Commodore is going to come down with they, it, though. They did. Perry County Central to begin at the 45-yard line. Yeah, and look who it was. They put their hands team out, and that was Derek Fields again coming up with a clutch play for the Commodores. Big-time play. Special teams so important uh, if you want to play winning football. Yeah, Coach, if you didn't hear me earlier, you know, Derek Fields is named after. His namesake is after Derek Bowling, Kentucky Farm Bureau. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Derek Bowling. Yeah. Here we go, shotgun. Ends it off. There's Jackson. Jackson still on his feet. Just finding holes and gaps, Daryl. Yeah. Well, the uh, that's pretty easy when you got an offensive line like he's five out here. Yeah. These boys are bulldozing the competition. Check out Landon Sullivan over here on the edge. And then big number 73, Jarrett Neese. One of my favorites on the line there. Got him Sloan dropping back, Coach. He airs it out. And Coach, that's over to the edge. He's got room. Shot down by Connor Davis. Save the day. Nice throw, nice run. Perry County Central back on the move. That was Tyler Robinson on the reception. Tyler Robinson's one of his favorite kind of their, their you know partners in crime there. Look at here, Coach. Uh, I guarantee they're going to run the football here because they're bringing Phoenix, Eddington, and the big fella, number 41, Hunter Griffey, out here. So they're bringing a heavy package here. Yeah, they said we're going to plow it in. Yeah. I, I expect them right here. 
try to use some clock and run the football here. Hands it off. Seth Jackson around the edge, coach. He's got room and he's got six. Touchdown, Commodores. Kids unreal. Hey, that young man having himself a night here tonight. Absolutely. Extra point attempt. Up and good by Bo Brock and Perry Central leads this one 41-21. We'll be right back with more playoff action on the D&D Sports Network. Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance is excited to announce a new partnership with Quantum Healthcare. Quantum continues to offer the same care at their location at 210 Black Gold Boulevard in Hazard. Quantum is open 24 hours per day with numerous providers and services available. They accept Medicaid and most major insurances. Call area code 606-436-0711 to schedule an appointment today. Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance and Quantum Healthcare. Together, we make a great team. Hi everybody, Dave Baker here for Citizens Bank of Kentucky. Do you want to love your car even more? How about putting extra cash in your pocket each month by refinancing with new low rates at CBK? It is fast, it's easy, all you have to do is log on to wearecitizens.bank. We are back here at Perry Central and it's the Commodores leading 41-21 over Lincoln County. Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy on the call. That was a return. Short return there by White. Or Watch out. Here we go, Daryl. Uh, again, getting a little chippy. Well, it's been chippy. Coach, that was number 12 on the return, and uh, that was Gavin Douglas. He's a junior at Lincoln County. So there's a cramp on the field. You know, trying to. Coaches, they rub this cramp out. I want to remind everybody, make sure you stay tuned to D&D Sports Network for all your playoff action here in the mountains. I want to wish both teams, Hazard and Perry Central, the best of luck, Coach, uh, tomorrow as they will travel downstate to play in the middle school playoffs. Both teams, both Hazard teams. and Perry Central, are undefeated. Wow. And in the semifinals of the state uh, that, championship. Uh, very well could meet. And... Uh, Oh, that cramp. He's still feeling it. Yeah, he, he's trying to get to the sideline here. You see him. He's got a little hitch in his giddy-up, coach. Nothing worse than a cramp. That's Tate Watts. In that calf area. Are you going to come over and drink him some water and some pickle juice, coach? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Eat him a banana. <laughs> Guys, Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy on the call. You're watching the Mountains' number one source for sporting news, the D&D Sports Network. End off. And they're going, going right back to the lane. Yeah, there's a flag. And I don't know what the flag was, Coach, because uh, it looked like everybody was standing yeah. around watching. That's what I thought. I, I, I'll say this again. It just seems like you get nothing unless Horton's playmaking. Yeah. And uh, I know, you, listen, like you said, could be a uh, diversion. It could be to set something up on the next play. But Lincoln County going to uh, 15 yard penalty on Perry County Central. Guys, you see our sponsors at the bottom of the screen and in the top left hand corner. We ask you guys if you like uh, this broadcast on DD Sports Network. Go like their Facebook page. Send them a like, and if you uh, if you feel froggy, shoot them a message and tell them thank you. We cannot do it without them. Absolutely. <laughs> you go, Coach. Lined up in the gun again. Oh. Intercepted. Commodores will have the football on the 50. Coach, how about that interception, man? That was Caden Haddix again. That young man has had himself a ball game this evening. Way to stay dialed in, Bobble City, and, and brought it down. 
dialed in on that one, Daryl. See his teammates waiting on him on the sideline. Listen, I, I, you're, you're not a football fan if you can't like this Perry Central team, man. <laughs> These boys are very likable, man. Mm -hmm. Big, big plays. They do it the right way. And coach, you know, one of the kids that we've not mentioned is Scott Williams on that line. Look at that uh, right guard over there. He's done a fabulous job all night protecting Kaiser Sloan. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. All night long. Yeah. Uh oh, he drops back. Airs it out, coach. He's got a man, and he's got a touchdown. Noah Kilburn says, "Give me six, oh, baby." Goodness gracious! What a beautiful reception, coach. That is a next level catch. That, that's what I was going to say. That is a next level play on both sides. Quarterback, yep. wide receiver. Wow. You nailed it, Bill McCoy. He is a D1 athlete. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Kilburn is the real deal. Bo Brocken kicks it and good. Perry Central will tack on the extra point and the score will stand at 49 to 21. We'll take a quick break. Be right back with more action on the D&D Sports Network. The Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance wants to inform the general public that Little Flower Clinic is a full-service medical clinic available for everyone. We accept most major insurances like the one your employer provides and Medicaid. Little Flower has an experienced staff of medical professionals providing all types of services from general physicians, mental health services, dental, chronic disease case management, and even chiropractic. We have on-site x-ray and laboratory services. Little Flower Clinic, everyone's medical home in the the mountains. We are back here. Perry Central leading. Coach, 49 to 21 over Lincoln County here in the first round of the Kentucky State Playoffs. Right. Oh. Uh oh, he's staying oh, alive. Please. Coach trying to get to the edge here. He's finally brought down at about the 42 yard line with that kid, Gavin Douglas. He's not quitting, man. No, nice effort by Douglas. Yeah. Second effort got him about 20 more yards on the return. And they need every bit of it right now. As you said, Daryl, as much as as much as much Horton has uh, had a ton of success running the football, uh, might need to start airing out a little bit. You know, they, they've got to. The clock isn't on their side. So right now they're going to start throwing the football a little bit. 49-21. Perry County Central all over Lincoln County. Well, Patriots starting this drive here on the 43-yard line. There you go, Coach. Screen pass. Horton. Brought down after a pickup of two on the play. Yeah, not a lot there. Lincoln County got to uh, make something happen here. 2 o'clock running. Approaching under two here in the third quarter. Perry County Central, everything clicking tonight. Saw your Horton. Empty the backfield, Darrell. Yeah, lined up in the gun here. He takes a snap. Quick pass over to the flats. He is caught and brought down. I'm telling you, though, Darrell, I'm super uh, impressed with with uh, Lincoln County's QB, Sawyer Horton. I mean, he can throw it. He can run it. He can. He's a you know, kid. He's got all the tools here. Let's see, you know, if it – He's going to have to take some shots down the field, coaches. You know, the clock is definitely uh, running down on them here. 128 to go here in the third quarter. You know, they've, they've got to get in the end zone in a hurry. He rose to the right side of the screen. He's looking down deep, coach. You ask and you shall receive, Darrell McCoy. Oh, nice job, Bob. Perry County, it was on the money. Perry County Central did a nice job, double coverage there. 
Great defense. Lincoln County asking for a. Uh, and, and this right here, listen. You know, there it comes. Yeah, and, and I'm, I'm telling you, if I'm Lincoln County, I'm getting I'm getting him off the floor, uh, off the field. It's every play he's involved with some Tom Fullery coach, and you know, you, you said it from the get go. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, if you're a coach, you know, at the end of the day, that stuff's just killing your team, especially when you're down this yeah. much on the scoreboard. No. They're playing too well, you know, to have plays like that negate, you know, because. Well, when they do have momentum, uh, start having some momentum, it seems like they get backtracked with, with the, si the silliness. That's it. And, and the tomfoolery. You know, and, and, and you know, that, that's where, you know, the, that's where the coach has to step in and pull him off the right. field. Yeah. Kind of like what you've seen with the University of Kentucky, um, uh, several different games. Kind of just it, kind of the discipline there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, when your team, when your team, you know, is trying to make a comeback, and you know, any kind of momentum that you get, it's negated because of a penalty, just because of a necessary right. stuff after right. the play. If it happens during the play, that's fine. Yeah. You know, but after the play, there's no call. I mean, it seems like every play yeah. there's something extracurricular going on afterwards. And listen, I love the intensity, I love the emotion and passion, but you gotta kind of just keep it right, right. You don't want to cross that line. It's a fine line you got to walk. Yeah, and credit, you know, credit Perry Central. You know, they've uh, they've kept their heads, and you know, they've uh, you know, for the most part, they've not uh, snapped back. Yeah. And you know, right now, I mean, you're seeing it pay off for them as they're ahead huge on the scoreboard. Yeah, 49-21, Perry County yeah. Central, uh, leading. Huh? Yeah, I'm not sure. Number Darryl. 71. Huh? How was that number 71? That was that must have happened up here at the line of scrimmage, yeah. but it definitely wasn't what was going on down here for no. the end zone. Well, everything was offset as well. Yeah. Kind of not a fan of those offsetting penalties. I mean, if it is what it is, then it is. But Lincoln County, how to make something happen here? Um, Perry County Central, they're they're very very. And listen, they say, listen, we're okay with the Tom Fuller. As yeah. you know, we're, you know, we eat this clock up and. Yeah, I mean, uh, right now that's the thing. I mean. Yeah, you know, Perry Central, they're not responding, and uh, and it's killing Lincoln County. There we go. Shotgun. Horton dropping back, looking downfield. Good things happen when he has the ball in his hands. Yeah. He brought down, uh, looks like coach, about the 35-yard lines where he's going to be marked out. Now they're going to say about 37. Got those cowbells. As you said, Daryl McCoy, uh, you ain't heard nothing yet. Tomorrow... <laughs> yeah, you, uh, Mississippi State in Starksville, yeah. you're going to hear a lot of cowbells. Under a minute to play in the third. See here, Sawyer Horton. He's got four wide, one back in the backfield. Looking to the left side, and yeah. it is tipped. Got a hand on it. Yeah. Coach, that was big number 64 out there. That was a tip pass. The score is 49 to 21 with under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Marcus Robinson. Yeah, Marcus, Marcus Robinson. Senior. Here we go. Fourth down and four here. 
Uh -oh, Coach, pressure coming. Great job to get rid of that. Yeah, poised. Yeah, he threw a dart over there, and look who it was again. That was Gavin Douglas. Yeah, we've seen him make some big plays in the return game. Now he's making some big plays on the off offensive side of the football. First down, Lincoln County. Clock running. First down and 10. Right. He drops back, screen pass. That's Connor Davis gets tripped up, coach, and uh, that was Wooten again. Yeah. Wooten saved another touchdown. <laughs> I, I th yeah, if, if you got to, got to, able to bring him down. If not, though, he could have been off to the races. Uh, this Wooten kid, man, he's a big time player. And that's going to end the third quarter. It's going to be the Commodores leading Lincoln County 49 to 21. You're watching Playoff Football on the DMD Sports Network. Kentucky Farm Bureau agents wear a lot of hats. They're coaches, volunteers, church members, neighbors, someone who's there when you need them, especially when you need them most. That may be a lot of hats, but they're all the perfect fit. Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. It's our 60th anniversary sale at Kimber's. Since 1963, it's been our family serving your family, and we want to celebrate with you with some of the best offers in our history. Kimber has up to 60% off store-wide, up to 60 months interest-free. With your minimum purchase, free delivery up to 60 miles, and with any mattress purchase, your foundation is only $60. The 60th anniversary sale, only at your favorite Kimber store. We're back here in Perry County. We got the Commodores on top on the scoreboard, Coach. 49-21 to 21 over Lincoln County, but Lincoln County on the move here. That's Horton. Coach, he is drugged down there by big number 75, Landon Sullivan. It took multiple uh, defensive linemen to bring him down. Horton is a load. Lincoln County, Perry County Central. Yeah, 4A playoff action. First round here in Hazard, Kentucky. Perry County Central leads 49 to 21 here in the fourth quarter. Lincoln County lining up here. Got three wide out, four wide out. Number 75 is Landon Sullivan. Nice run. Major yardage gain after contact. Yeah, and that was Horton. You know, Coach, we talked about him after a big first half. He's been quiet the last yeah. couple quarters, and uh, now he's come back alive here in the fourth quarter. Just, you know, maybe too late. Let's see if Lincoln County can make a last-minute surge to get back in this. Absolutely need this one, no doubt about it. Yeah. Two Hortons in the backfield here. He's dropping back, looking right, Coach. He's got a man, and he's got six. <laughs> Touchdown, Patriots. Lincoln County saying more of that, Daryl McCoy. Yeah, and Coach, look who it was. That was your guy again. That was Lane. More of that. Lincoln County fans screaming all the way from Lincoln County. Elon Lane. It's amazing, Coach, after you get rid of the nonsense, yeah. uh, how good you can play. Kicks up and good. And that's going to keep it 49 to 28. And there's a flag on the play. I don't know what it is, but there's another flag on the play. I believe unsportsmanlike contact after the play. A lot of laundry on the field, and uh, you could tell Coach, I think they're going to call it on Hunter Griffey.
Yeah. So you see. Yeah. Yeah. So that's going to be a penalty. Be assessed on the kickoff. When we come back, you're watching the D and D Sports Network. Let the folks at Double Quick help you start your 2022 off right. They brought back the Bourbon Pecan Coffee for a limited time only. You can also quench your thirst with the great deals on fountain drinks they offer daily. Double Quick is your one-stop shop for everything. They offer breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can stop by one of their many storefront locations spread throughout Eastern Kentucky. Stop by and let Double Quick make your day better. Back here in Hazard, Kentucky, Perry County Central leads coach 49 to 28 on the scoreboard. Onside's kick here, Lincoln County kicks it, and uh, that's Tyler Smith will field it at the 35. Well, you knew it was coming. Right. Yeah, and uh, if you guys was wondering why the kickoff, why the kicking team was up so far, there was a penalty uh, at the end of the extra point attempt that uh, they assessed the yardage onto the kickoff. So, you know, right now Perry Central, you know, if I'm Perry Central and I'm Coach Dixon, I am hand. You are going to get a heavy load of Seth Jackson. <laughs> I'm going to burn that clock. Absolutely. They got a heavy backfield here. Hands it off as Jackson. Nice job by Lincoln County. Wraps yep, him up. That's Horton. Big play by Horton on defense. Coach, I love this number 33, Horton, yep. man. What, what grade's he in? He's a senior. Yeah, both Hortons are seniors. Coach Davis telling us that the uh, Connor Davis kid is a baller on the basketball yeah. court, too, yeah. for Lincoln County. Yeah. Will we be seeing Lincoln County at the zip zone? No. I don't, I don't know if they're in there or not. No, I'll, I'll try to find that out. No, I, I don't think so. We go to Kaiser Sloan looking to pass. I'm surprised they elected to pass there, Coach. Yeah. He's still on his feet, Coach. Oh, tough take now. Yeah. How about that, Coach? Yes, sir. Uh, finally, the, uh, you're seeing some sportsmanship between the two squads. Tyler Robinson went to reception there. Yes, sir. Time ticking. 49-28. Lincoln County's got to get stops. There's Kaiser Sloan again in shotgun formation. Trying the hard count. Poise. I like it. Hands it off. Damn, right up the gut. Coach, I think we are finally live. Maestro must have worked some oh, magic. Oh, my goodness. Maestro got us going on Facebook. Yeah, we are live on Facebook. There we go. I know I had a couple people saying uh, the sound was out. I think that got uh, corrected, right? Yeah. Yep. Daryl McCoy and Thomas Rainey do a tremendous job keeping this thing running. There you go. Kaiser Sloan lining up under center for the first time tonight. And Seth Jackson gets up to about the 35. Nothing happening, Daryl. No, there's a slew of Lincoln County defenders come up, make that stop. Question is, did they get the first down? They did. I think they did. It looks like me got it. Yeah. yeah. They're going to move the chains here. Guys, yep. Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy on the call. You're watching the Mountains' number one source for sporting news, the D&D Sports Network. Perry Central leads Lincoln County 49-28 to 28 with 7.51 to go. Ladies and gentlemen, where have you been if you, you haven't been following us on YouTube? Yeah, there you go. You know, on our YouTube, we've been on live the whole time, yeah. guys. So we are live on Facebook now, live in the living color. Hit that yeah. like and share button. Get these numbers up for these boys here at the end. It's the biggest enemy at this point for Lincoln County. 
Now hands it off to Jackson. Jackson busts through. Yeah, he just exactly he busted through. Yeah, he's getting down to about the 49 yard line. And coach, if uh, right now time is not on Lincoln County side. No, not at all. Uh, Daryl, this Perry County Central team, my first time getting to see them. Daryl, this is a team that that can compete here in the playoffs, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Perry Central, you know, we've seen them with some big time wins and they've dropped a couple games they shouldn't too but when this team's click and we've seen it against Breathitt County earlier in the cool. year maybe best football game I've seen them play all year and uh, this is a very dangerous team yeah shotgun uh, Kaiser Sloan takes the handoff and that was Hurley the uh, and here's the uh, the thing too coach is you know Right now, if you're Perry Central, you got to be careful with Kaiser Sloan That's because he comes in with a – his shoulder is tore all to pieces right now, his left shoulder. So that kid is all guts I, uh, out there playing tonight. You, you took the words out of my mouth. I was getting ready to say that. I was like, how long do you keep Sloan in? Yeah, I, I mean, uh, obviously, uh, you know, this game right here, you know, I'd say Coach Dix, and I, it would be hard to take him out, you know, uh, on this drive so you know maybe next drive you might be able to yeah. put a replacement in but I, you know then again i don't even know who his uh, replacement is right you know but look at this kid coach you're talking about the prototypical college quarterback look at the size on that young man oh that's what i was gonna say tremendous size uh he's got it all to be a next level qb and if they do go with someone they would go with the sophomore and that's aaron johnson uh, for uh, Perry County Central, their backup QB. And Coach, he is a standout. Uh, he is a standout basketball player as well. Kaiser Sloan. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really, really good basketball player here at uh, Perry Central. You know, he came over a few years ago from Knott County Central and, uh, you know, he's been a huge blessing for the Commodore fan base. Kaiser Sloan dropping back. He's looking to the near side of the field. Good defense there by Connor Davis. Yeah, really good uh, defense. Broke, broke the play up. And, Coach, if you haven't seen this young man play right here, Noah Kilburn, you are missing out. That young man, you talking about a next level receiver you know when you talk wide receivers in the mountains you're not going to get no farther than three or four before you get to know a kilburn's name uh electric yeah very central to punt yeah might have seen the last of kaiser sloan we shall see that's connor davis back to field the punt Oh, big boot. It's, it's going to take a Commodore row inside the five-yard mm -hmm. line. And Lincoln County will – look at your coach down yeah. to the four. Lincoln County will start this one on the four-yard line. They're going to have to go the distance if they're going to want to score on this drive. Absolutely. So, guys, you can see our sponsors down at the bottom of our screen. Make sure you hit that like and share button for these boys. Get that numbers up. Not where you wanted to be if you're Link, uh, if you're Lincoln County. No, absolutely not. As you said, Daryl, got to start airing it out. And uh, you see, um, Horton, Horton has an arm. Yeah, this Horton kid, he's uh, he's had a good night for Lincoln County. Screen pass over to the outside. Up at the 11 and drops. <laughs> Fans didn't like that. Yeah, Coach, more Tom Fullery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Daryl, that's just. Here <laughs> comes the late flag. Yeah. And Coach, uh, you know, like I said, you know, if, if you ain't watching it, you know, it's been all game long. You know, uh, that one kid for Lincoln County has been involved in every uh, single 
extracurricular activity. And, uh, you know, if, if I'm the coach, I would have said him a long time ago. What's your thoughts on that? Uh, okay, well, you just answered yep. it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he'd be sitting right beside me. Yeah. 49-28, Perry County Central with the advantage. Uh, and, listen, that kid is a super talent, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's hard. It's a hard decision, but. As you're sitting here, you know, the officials are talking about it, trying to clear things out real quick, guys. We want to thank our wonderful sponsors that sponsoring tonight's game. I want to thank Derek Bowling at Kentucky Farm Bureau. Guys, we couldn't do it without Derek Bowling, without the Shea Wooten. I want to thank uh, Thomas Kemper at Kemper Furniture. I want to thank Scott Napier at Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance. You know, our sponsors are the secret behind the success, Coach. It always is. You talk about uh, the community partners that the D&D Sports Network has from Hazard to Pikeville and all points in between, Daryl McCoy. Somebody, somebody locally is making a difference. They are. Yeah, I mean, these local business owners are, are the secret behind D&D success, and it's you folks at home. Listen, you guys hitting that like and share button, you have no idea. You know, we had somebody, Coach, in here earlier watching from Alaska. <laughs> Said it popped up on their feed. <laughs> uh, that's crazy. Um, yeah. But it's the reach that D&D has, ladies yep. and gentlemen. Personal so, fouls, Daryl. Yeah, offsetting. Again, offsetting penalties. Again, I'm not necessarily a fan of that. Six minutes to play. You know, and, and as long as you keep, as long as you keep calling off setting, it's not going to teach the kids any lesson. You know, you got, you got to get who started. Yeah. You know, and uh, penalize that kid, and then uh, the coach will finally do something about it. You right. Know? So if you want to stop it, you got to penalize one kid. You keep doing off setting. Yeah. It's going to keep going. Right. Clock running. Under six to play. Been Shotgun. A very, very chippy ball game. Horton. Connects. Yeah. I know one thing. You know, I, again, knew nothing about Lincoln County coming in. But leaving here, I have became a huge Sawyer Horton fan. I mean, that, that kid's a real deal. And... Um, Kudos to him. I mean, he has just played a heck of a game tonight for Lincoln County and has just stayed working, working, working. And uh, scoreboard has not been a factor. He's competed the same exact way all night long. Yeah, that, that kid, much respect to him, the way that he's handled himself, the way he's played this ball game. I mean, he's not gave up, and he's still fighting to the end. Uh-oh, pressure comes. Good job eluding that sack there. Nice uh, run after the catch, Daryl. That was really, and you know, it was a great job. We've seen him do it all night. Use his feet to elude pressure yeah. and right there avoiding that sack. Good job there by Sawyer Horton. Good things happen when Sawyer Horton has uh, making plays with the football. Don't forget, guys, after the game. You guys come right back and join us. We'll have the Mingy Beef Jerky post-game report where we'll get you caught up on all the scores from around the region while announcing the Mingy Beef Jerky player of the game. Nowhere to go, but what I really like is he stayed poised in that pocket, never yeah. got rattled. A lot of kids would have chucked that as soon as they heard the feet coming. There's 440 to go in this one. Yep, 49-28. Perry County Central looking to advance to the second round of the 4A state playoffs. And this is the only game they host, correct, Darrell? Yep. yep. Only game they host, Coach. And as far as I know, I'm pretty sure that this is the first playoff game that Perry Central has ever hosted here. Yeah. And it may be only the third playoff game ever. I could be wrong, but... I'm sure somebody, somebody let us know there, but, you know. Watch out. Here we go, Daryl. Yeah. Flags coming everywhere. And, Coach, it's been all night long. 
Uh, you know, uh, this right here, you know, uh, the official has to do something about it. This is on the official. This has happened all night long. These officials, uh, they should have cut it, you know, a long time ago. They should have cut it, at, you know, before it even got started. But they've let it go all night, and now it's going to blister yeah. over, and it's going to avalanche into something yeah. that you don't want here. Yeah, it could escalate really quickly. You better get a hold of it. Yeah, I, I mean, it's been every play. They've been tomfoolery after every play, Coach. Yeah. Well, here we go. They're going to bring the coaches out here. Mm -hmm. uh, probably probably should have done this earlier. Yeah. This should have been done way earlier because what you've done is now you've took a chance on players getting hurt out there. Yeah. And, you know, if it keeps continuing like this, if I'm Coach Dixon, I'm just going to say, you know, I mean, you're going to have to call the game or yeah, something because right. I'm not going to get my guys hurt, you know. Right. Both teams pulled to the sideline here. Uh, the officials talking to both head coaches. Yeah. You see the It has been chippy tonight. If you're just tuning in over on the Facebook feed. Trying to see, Coach. Can't tell. It looks like Garrett Smith there, Coach. As his back to us. Yeah. Well, you know Garrett pretty well, right, Darrell? You know Garrett really well. He's a fellow pond creeper. Yeah. He's caught a lot of my son's ball games over the years. Yeah. They're bringing the uh, the teams together here, Coach. Now, what are they doing here? Yeah, it's, it's like let's go ahead and let, let's let's. See, it, it's been offsetting all game, and that right there, do you want to know why this continues because of that, Coach? Well, we said it from the beginning, offsetting penalties a lot of times. If it is what it is, and it is, but, you know, every every t like you said, there has to be a message sent one it, way or the other. It don't matter what side it started on. You've got to find who started it and penalize that team yeah. because they've offset it all game long, and now it's blistering over to something that's going to be really nasty if they let this continue to go on. Right. Somebody's going to get hurt out there. Here we go, yeah. Lincoln County. Shotgun action. There you go, Horton on the move. Stiff arm. Stiff arm, he nowhere to go, yeah, though. Nice stiff arm there by Horton. Just nowhere to go. Perry Central did a nice job. And yeah, I'm a big fan of this young man right here, Mr. Sawyer Horton. I am too, Daryl. Yeah. I mean, that kid is a competitor, and he can uh, he can do a little bit of everything on the football field. He can. Both Horton boys. Yes. You know. Yes. Uh, time ticking away here. Uh, Perry County Central looking like they will advance here. Again, Lincoln County coming out, shotgun formation. Two receivers the bottom side of your field. He's looking deep, Coach. There's it out. Nice job. That was number two, Tyson here comes, Riley here comes coming out. Another flag, Daryl. Another flag. What's the flag now? Yeah, I didn't see anything on that play. I didn't either. It looked like it was thrown over at the on the sideline. Maybe it wasn't. That's what. Because uh, I didn't see anything. Yeah. Guess not. Looks like he picked it up. Yeah. Fourth and no. Well, uh, taking yeah. over on downs. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, Commodore is now. Thought I saw a flag. Yeah, 318 to go. Actually, I did see a flag there. Yeah, just, they picked it up. Yeah. So right now, if the Commodores can pick up a couple first downs here, they should be able to get in victory formation and finish this thing off. Over. Over. 
Unsportsmanlike conduct on the offensive team number 32. Is what they call it, Coach. Yeah, you, you seen the flag over there. Perry County Central looking to tack on one more TD before it's all said and done. And Kyver Sloan's going to ride this thing out, Daryl. Yeah. You see that uh, that left shoulder heavily padded, Coach. Forty-nine twenty-eight. It's looking as though Perry County Central will live to fight another day. Lincoln County season coming to an end here in Hazard, Kentucky. Yeah, the uh, you know credit them both. I mean, you know, at five with five wins, coach. Sideline warning on Lincoln County. The uh, you know credit. Lincoln County, you know, they only had uh, five wins on the season, but, you know, they've come here and they fought hard in this playoff game. You know, early on it looked like they was going to give yeah. Perry County a fight. And it's uh, – so there's a timeout on the field, Coach. You know, real quick, let's uh, talk about a couple of our sponsors in the area, Coach. Yeah. Thomas Kemper at Kemper Furniture. Yeah. You know, Thomas Kemper and the Kemper family, if you uh, need furniture, go up there. They got quality furniture at quality prices. Also, I want to thank Derek Bowling at Kentucky Farm Bureau. Derek Bowling at Kentucky Farm Bureau is a huge supporter of all Perry County uh, athletics. That's Perry Central and Hazard. I want to thank Deshae Wooten at East Main Street Pharmacy. Deshae Wooten, for all your pharmaceutical needs, go down and hit her up. I promise she'll take care of you. And then, uh, last but not least, I want to thank Scott Napier and the folks at Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance, uh, Quantum Health, Little Flower Clinic, and East Kentucky Chiropractic. Dear, I, listen, I, I have a little history with Thomas Kemper. You do, don't you? Yes, sir. Yeah. He's a former player, right? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Handoff is through. Seth Jackson busts through the line, coach, and he's going to score another Commodore touchdown. Let's <laughs> tack one more on, Daryl McCoy. Yeah. They call him a hoss here in Perry County Central. Oh, uh, yeah. Boss Hog <laughs> is what that is. That's, that's Mr. Boss Hog to you, sir. Absolutely. Yeah, it's going to go up 55-28, Commodores on top. 55-28. Yeah, and, and I'm kind of glad because we're going to get another look at Mr. Sawyer Horton. So I'm kind of glad they scored, so we'll at least get a look at him one more time before the game's over. Kicks up, and good. Commodores leading 56 to 28 over Lincoln County. Guys, you're watching KHSAA State Playoffs on the D&D Sports Network. Kentucky Farm Bureau agents wear a lot of hats. They're coaches, volunteers, church members, neighbors, someone who's there when you need them, especially when you need them most. That may be a lot of hats, but they're all the perfect fit. Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. Kentucky Farm Bureau agents wear a lot of We are back here in Hazard, Kentucky. We have Perry Central leading Lincoln County, 56 to 28. Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy on the call. You're watching the Mountain's number one source for sporting news, the D&D &D Sports Network. Number one across the board. There are, and dare I say, uh, I know since I've been on board, um, with the grind session going into season five, four years. Yeah. Four years running number one that I know. Yeah. yeah. Not a larger media outlet in the state of Kentucky high, that covers high school sports mm -hmm. than D&D &D sports. Here in this fourth quarter, Connor Davis stands back on his 10-yard line. Hard to believe season five of the ground session upcoming. It is. Good. Be stretches. kicking off in a week or two. Time flies. Yeah. Now Fair will finally decide to kick it. So, RJ Adams goes back to receiving. He goes, RJ Adams on the return. RJ 
Adams across the 30. He's got some space coach down the sideline. If he can get a blocker. Now he's – this is uh, good news for Lincoln County. It's going to give Sawyer Horton a good field position to start this drive. That's something he's not had in a while. No, not at all. Great, a big-time run. Get to see Sawyer Horton one more time. Remember, guys, after this ball game, make sure you guys stick around for the Mingy Beef Jerky post-game report, and we will also name the Mingy Beef Jerky player of the game coming up directly after the game, so make sure you stick around for that. Got some big updates, Coach. There you go. Horton. Uh-oh, there you go, Coach, oh. the hook and ladder. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Just can't hang on. No. If they had run it over here to this open side of the field, they may have scored on it. Made a quick one. Yeah. Two fifty one. Horton dropping back. Looks to the end zone. And he could not hang on. Oh my. Fifty six twenty eight. Under three to play here. Lincoln County with one last ditch effort here. Trying to keep their hopes alive. We'll see. There's it out. Can't hang on. He couldn't hang on, uh, Coach, and uh, walk that tightrope. The uh, kicker, Bo Boken, just uh, broke the school record for extra point uh, attempts with that extra point attempt. Congratulations to that young man. Yeah, he, he's been automatic tonight, Coach. Yes, sir. Record's broken. Going to advance in the playoffs. Great night for Perry County Central. Yes, it's a good night to be a Commodore. And you see the players down here. This is what it's about, Coach. Moving on, they'll go on the road and fight another night. Lincoln County season will come to an end. That's Connor Davis, snags it out of the air. He is. It took a whole <laughs> team of Commodores to bring that young man down, Coach. Oh. oh. Again, Coach. Oh. Coach, this, this right here, flags everywhere, laundry on the field, and, you know. Uh, listen, I saw that up close. Yeah. That was a straight kick to the chest, Daryl McCoy. Yeah. Goodness gracious. And there's another flag. They keep coming. That's going to be on the coach, I think. Coming unglued here, here in the final minutes. No, and, and you know it's getting to the point. Like I said, you're going. Somebody's going to get hurt out there if they keep on doing this. And you know, if I'm Coach Dixon, I'm telling the official call the game. You know Absolutely. I mean? There's no use in right. taking a chance on losing a kid for uh, next week. Absolutely. 2.14 to play. Uh, we've, got, we've got we've got five, six flags <laughs> on the field, Daryl. Coach, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to uh, kind of see what's going down here, but I can tell you where it started, right? Yeah. I think you can too. Yeah. You know, it's, it's rough, man. I mean, the uh, – <laughs> it's something that it, it should have been it should have been nipped in the butt a long time ago. Yeah. Early on. Yeah. Goodness. Fifty six. 
28. Perry County Central is going to advance here. Just wait for the eyes to be dotted and the T's to be crossed. Coach, they've even got the sheriff out there. Oh, yeah. Well, you, <laughs> you know, they don't, they don't mess around here at Perry County, Daryl McCoy. No. You, you know, listen, you already know, right? No, I, <laughs> no that, absolutely. I've been throwing out of a game or two around here, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> Where were these officials when I, when I got through out? <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <You> know? <laughs> Maybe the only time in the history of basketball when somebody <laughs> says, Mr. Official, has anybody told you you're doing a good job? Yeah. You're out of here. Uh, as literally, Coach. All I said, you were sitting out there beside me. Then after you was out, he said, do you want to go? <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, we uh, – uh, up here in Hazard, I guess we're the, the Bo and Luke Duke. Yeah. We're the outlaws up here in Hazard. <laughs> We're going to find out. And, again, we know where it started. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and, and let's see what they do here. You know, I mean, if I was the officials, you know, I, I don't know what they could do. But, I, I mean, I, I know it's tough. If it was regular season, I'd already called the game. But, right. you know, if uh, – and you know, it, it being playoff, I don't know. Darrell, have you seen that happen? Uh, officials I, I, just call the game? I, I, I have seen it in yeah. regular season. Right. At this point, you can come up here take the clock and run two minutes off of it real quick. And I think everybody will be okay. 2.14 to play. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, this game's over. There's no reason to really play these two minutes out. Yeah, I mean, of course, you you know, I mean, you got records, yardage, all that. Yeah. You don't want cheat kids. Right. Uh, gotta watch out. We may find ourselves in a good old-fashioned Donnie Brook here. Yeah. Looks like they waved the white flag over at Lincoln County. Looks like the Patriots are going to bring the JV team in. Uh, here in the Lincoln County uh, announced team. Uh, yeah, sir, it does confirm that. They say that looks like. They're bringing their JV team out. Yeah, the. Uh, did I? Still sorting things out. It's a uh, it, it's a tough situation. I mean, if you're Perry County, I'm probably bringing my JV out because you don't want to lose a starter right. you know, over something stupid. Right. They really call off setting. Wow. That is mind blowing. Wow. Offsetting penalties again, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Here we go. Lincoln County looking to get in the end zone one more time. Yeah. Coach, who is this number 15 at quarterback? Yeah, we've got the JV in. That uh, should be. What are they doing? Everybody stopped. Wow, Coach, everybody stopped. The Lincoln County <laughs> scored the touchdown. Got him a TD. Man, you talking about. Yeah, that was Brown. Uh, yeah, that was Brennan Hazlett. Hazlett. Got him a uh, – they just stopped playing there. Yeah, I mean, I, I tell you, this has been a, a, an odd turn of affairs yeah. here to, to end this ball game. It has. That was interesting. You think you you, you think that was intentional, Daryl? They said just look, let them in the end zone. You know? I, I, it may be, and they may just take the knee and get right. out of here. Here we go. Nevertheless, Lincoln County gets on the scoreboard. I'm surprised they're not going for two here. And it is kicked through the uprights and good. It's going to make 56 to 35, Coach. Yes, sir. Uh, 2 0 2 to play here. Yeah. So we're going to, uh, we'll jump out for one last commercial break. Be right back here on the DD Sports Network. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us.
we're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. Back here, d and Sports Network. Oh, yeah, 4A playoff football action. Perry County Central leads Lincoln County. 56-35 with 2.02 to play here in the fourth quarter. One of the more bizarre halves in football that we've seen, Daryl. It is. Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy on the call. As Lincoln County trails Perry Central 56-35. Yeah. Kick is up. Squib kick. It's going to be fielded at the 33. And this right here should be it, Coach. They'd come down, probably run one play, and uh, then be able to knee it out. What a night here in the mountains. And we are indeed on top of the highest mountain here in Hazard, Kentucky. Jared Tyler Walker says, this is wild. Yes, it has been, Jared. It's been a wild night here. Uh, for the, the ending of this ball game. Here you go. They're going to get in victory formation, Coach. Kneel it out. So I don't think uh, they have any timeouts left. Yeah, they got one left. I don't expect Lincoln County to use it, Darrell. No, they're not going to. So. You know, Coach, it's going to be the Commodores moving on to play next Friday night. And uh, Lincoln County season will end. So, Coach, uh, you know, I don't think it's any secret, you know, uh, who the player of the game is going to be. And uh, I think uh, number 15 for the Commodores, Seth Jackson, you know, he was a man amongst boys, and uh, I think he had four scores on the night. Yeah, Mingy Beef Jerky player of the game. Yep, so Seth Jackson is your Mingy Beef Jerky player of the game. As guys, we will, there's 39 seconds left after the game. We will take one commercial break, and then we will be right back for the Mingy Beef Jerky post-game report. The ball game is over. Commodores win. I tell you what, these Commodore faithful, man, they are loud and proud with these cowbells, and, and, and it is a tradition with Perry County Central basketball, football, to ring those cowbells, and nobody does it better here in the mountains than Absolutely Perry County Central. Absolutely not. As you see, Perry County Central going to come to the corner of the end zone here and talk. We're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we'll get you caught up on all the scores from around the region. You're watching the D&D Sports Network. Kentucky Farm Bureau agents wear a lot of hats. There are coaches, volunteers, church members, neighbors, someone who's there when you need them, especially when you need them most. That may be a lot of hats, but they're all the perfect fit. Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. Coach, you hear it in the background, celebrate good times as you got Perry Central Commodores moving on to the second round of the KHSAA State Playoffs, the first ever home playoff game. They come out victorious. What a night for the Commodores defeating Lincoln County, 56-35. to Hey, what a way to uh, get your first playoff home win in school history. Big time win 
56-35 against Lincoln County. And my oh my, after just a – listen, I thought Lincoln County early on had things going their way. Momentum was on their side. Big defensive stop, yeah. March down the field, get a TD. Things kind of fell apart from there. Kind of came unraveled. Maybe uh, a little bit of uh, – I don't want to say discipline issues, Daryl McCoy. I don't – but <laughs> not as um, – uh, clean of a uh, uh, football team as you would like to have, or, or a game you would like to have played if you're Lincoln County. It wasn't uh, the type of game you want to come in a playoff and no, play. No, not, I said it at the beginning. You know, it almost felt like Lincoln County come in for, uh, to fight and it looked like Perry Central come to play a football game. And, yeah. uh, you, you know, Perry Central will get out of here with the dub. And, uh, you, you know, I mean, that's – hey, there's Miss Deshae Wooten down there at East Main Street Pharmacy. The I uh, want to give her a big shout-out. Guys, we could not be here if it wasn't for uh, ladies like Miss Deshae Wooten, huge supporter of the Perry Central Commodores and Hazard Bulldogs. Absolutely. Listen, but give Lincoln County a ton of credit. And what yeah. I'm talking about, I'm talking about Mr. Sawyer Horton, the job he yes. did to stay poised and dial in from the first quarter to the last snap he took. Sawyer Horton was a class act tonight, and uh, and both Horton boys, yeah. you know, both of them. Uh, fun to watch. Uh, hats off to them boys. Uh, Lane played a good game in the backfield for uh, Lincoln County, but for uh, the Commodores, I mean, it was, uh, you know, a host of players showing up, but, you know, it started and ended with Seth Jackson, the meanie beef jerky player of the game. I mean, is there any doubt Seth Jackson was a bulldozer Oh, yeah. He got what he wanted, and he got it a lot, Daryl McCoy. He did. And then, uh, you know, I mean, uh, Noah Kilburn, uh, he killed him in the passing game. You know, had some big-time receptions. And then on defense, I mean, you had Hunter Griffey uh, on defense and on special teams. Hunter Griffey made big plays. And this offensive line, you know, uh, we, we say Seth Jackson was a man amongst boys, but them hoes ain't there if it's not for this offensive line. Absolutely. They played a big part of it, setting the <laughs> gaps, creating the holes, doing yeah. what they're supposed to do. Yeah, Daryl McCoy, great effort by Perry County Central. You're watching the Mingy Beef Jerky post-game report. We're going to give you a rundown on the scores from around the region. Floyd Central, 32-28 over Eastridge. You have Tug Valley, 46-6 win over Van. Pikeville, 49 to 6 win over Harlan. Martin County, 43 to 3 win over Pike Central. Belfry, 56 to 36 over Clay County. Ashland, 56 to 14 over Harrison County. Yeah, Grundy with a 44 24 over Central. Um, Breathitt County, come back, coach. Defeated Bracken County, 46 to 26. Mm. Big win over there for the Bobcats. Well, he'll, listen, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't know what to think. I said, you know what? Uh, mm -hmm. Austin Sperry left the team three weeks ago, four mm -hmm. weeks ago. Do things fall apart? No. Sometimes when you – you know how this is in life yeah. and sports. Yeah, was he a big-time piece? And I know they miss him. But sometimes you rally – that's as it. a team, and yep. I think that's what they did. No, nah, uh, we've seen it. We've seen it a lot of times in sports that yeah. happen. Uh, th then we had Sayer, forty-eight to eight victory over Fairview. Russell, forty-two to eight victory over Bourbon County. Let me catch back up here where I was left off, Coach. You had uh, Covcath, Covcath with the forty-nine twelve victory over Greenup County. Chapmanville, 32 to nothing win over man. That's a huge win. Chapmanville is the kings of Logan County with that one. Bell County, 62 to 28 win over McGolfin County. Bell County will move on to face Belfry next week in round two. That's going to be the biggest game in the state. Yeah. And then uh, you got Mingo Central with a 47 to nothing victory over Mount View. Herbert Hoover, 70 to 20 over Logan. You had Lawrence County, 43-6 to six over Knox Central. Lexcast, 51 to nothing over West Carter. Boyd County, 14-7 to seven over Mason County. Somerset, 36 to nothing over Owen County. Betsy Lane defeats Prestonsburg twice in one season. They only beat them one time in 30 years. Yeah. And they beat them twice in a season. Yeah, congratulations to Betsy Lane. Yeah, and then uh, Tulsa. Uh, falls to Riverview, 35 to 32. 
Letcher Central season ends as they suffer a 50 to 13 loss to Taylor County. You had Williamsburg defeating Hazard 42 to 12. Boyle County defeats Whitley County 41 to 6. Guys, that rounds out all the scores from around the region. Tomorrow, the University of Kentucky plays Mississippi State at 7.30. Make sure you guys tune in for that. And guys, keep following D&D Sports Network for all your sporting news here in the mountains. Kevin Keithley and Daryl McCoy. Till next time, so long and good night.